The Blakeford is a transitional style ceiling fan with a unique pull chain operated DC motor that is perfectly suited for large rooms. We'll show you how to install the fan with step-by-step -step instructions. If you would like to skip ahead to a specific part of the installation, pause the video and use this menu for reference. Otherwise, continue watching for the complete installation guide. If you feel that you do not have enough electrical wiring knowledge or experience, have your fan installed by a licensed electrician. Installation requires an installed ceiling outlet box that is UL listed and acceptable for fan support of up to 35 pounds. You will also need a stepladder, Phillips screwdriver, wire stripper, electrical tape, and about one hour to install the fan. With your equipment ready and your new ceiling fan unpacked, you can now begin the installation. The tri-mount feature on this fan allows you to install it on different types of ceilings. For standard ceilings, and ceilings with a maximum slope of 18 degrees, mount the fan using the down rod. For low ceilings, mount the fan using the alternate flush mount installation. Continue watching to learn how to mount the fan using the down rod, or skip ahead to the alternate flush mount installation section. Before getting started, turn off power at the breaker. First, prepare the canopy by twisting and removing the canopy ring. Remove the two non-slotted mounting bracket screws. Loosen the remaining two slotted screws. The hanger bracket can now be removed. Repair the motor coupling by removing the clevis pin and cotter pin. Loosen the two collar set screws. On the hanger ball downrod assembly, Loosen the set screw and lower the ball off the down rod. Remove the cross pin and the ground lead. Next, assemble the fan by feeding the motor's wires through the down rod and inserting it into the motor's collar. Align the holes on the down rod with the holes on the collar, then insert the clevis pin and cotter pin. Tighten the two collar set screws. Slide the coupling cover, canopy ring, and canopy onto the down rod. Then carefully reinstall the hanger ball. To attach the mounting bracket, loosen the two screws in the ceiling box and pass the supply wires through the center hole. Then slide the bracket into place over the screws and tighten them securely. Carefully bring the fan up to the ceiling and slide the hanger ball into the hanger bracket to hold it up. The tab on the mounting bracket will need to align with the groove in the hanger ball. Now you can make the electrical connections. Combine the ground wires from the ceiling box, down rod, and hanger bracket together. Then connect the white wire from the hanger bracket labeled AC in N to the neutral wire in the box. Connect the black wire labeled AC in L to the hot wire in the box. Then connect the black wire from the bracket labeled L1 to the black and blue wires from the fan. Connect the white wire from the bracket labeled N1 to the white wire from the fan. Wrap electrical tape around the connections to hold the wires in place, then tuck them neatly inside the box. 
Assemble the canopy by sliding it up to the ceiling and twisting it into place over the two screws on the hanger bracket. Insert the removed screws and tighten all four securely. Slide the canopy ring over them and twist to lock into place. The fan is now properly mounted and the rest of the fan body is ready to be installed. Continue watching to learn how to mount the fan using the alternate flush mount installation or skip ahead to the section for attaching the fan blades. Before getting started, turn off power at the breaker. Prepare the canopy assembly by twisting and removing the canopy ring. Then unscrew the two non-slotted mounting bracket screws. Loosen the remaining two slotted screws. Remove the hanger bracket and bottom canopy cover. Repair the motor by removing three of the six collar screws to make a triangle pattern. Assemble the fan by placing the canopy ring on top of the motor. Align the holes on the canopy with the screws on the collar and insert the three removed screws to secure the canopy to the motor. To attach the mounting bracket, loosen the two screws in the ceiling box and pass the supply wires through the center hole. Then slide the bracket into place over the screws and tighten them securely. Carefully bring the fan up to the ceiling and use one of the holes in the canopy to hang it from the hanger bracket's hook. Now you can make the electrical connections. Combine the ground wires from the ceiling box and hanger bracket together. Then connect the white wire from the hanger bracket labeled AC in N to the neutral wire in the box. Connect the black wire labeled AC in L to the hot wire in the box. Then connect the black wire from the bracket labeled L1 to the black and blue wires from the fan. Finally, connect the white wire from the bracket labeled N1 to the white wire from the fan. Wrap electrical tape around the connections to hold the wires in place. Then tuck them neatly inside the box. Assemble the canopy by unhooking the fan and pushing it up to the ceiling. Twist it into place over the two screws on the hanger bracket. Insert the removed screws and tighten all four securely. Slide the canopy ring over them and twist to lock into place. The fan has been properly flush mounted and the rest of the fan body is ready to be installed. The fan motor assembly is shipped with packing mounts to prevent movement during transportation. Use a screwdriver to remove all packing mounts from underneath the motor assembly. Bring the blade arm up to the fan and secure it onto the motor with the two pre-assembled blade arm screws. Repeat the process for the remaining arms. Bring the fan blade up to the motor. To install a blade, align the keyholes with the blade arm posts. Then press and pull until the spring locking mechanism clicks and locks the blade in place. Repeat the process for the remaining blades. With the fan blades attached, you can now install the light kit. Remove one of the screws from the mounting ring and loosen the remaining screws. Then bring the mounting plate up to the fan. Align and twist the plate over the loose screws, then insert the removed screw and tighten all screws to secure it in place. Remove all three light kit mounting screws from the mounting plate. Bring the light kit up to the fan and connect the 9-pin wire connectors. 
Align the holes on the light kit with the holes on the mounting plate, then insert the removed screws and tighten them securely. Install the two included LED light bulbs. Remove the decorative nut, glass cap, and metal nut from the light kit. Guide the chain from the speed switch through the guide slot on the light kit. Bring the glass shade up to the fan and align the holes with the light kit shaft and chain. Reinstall the metal nut to secure the shade in place. Then align the glass cap over the light kit shaft and chain. Reinstall the decorative nut to secure the glass cap in place. Finally, clip on the pull chains and fobs. If you don't plan on using the light function, an optional switch cover installation is available. On the light kit, unplug the blue wire connector and the white wire connector. Lift the motor controller module from the switch housing to access the shaft. Remove the nut and washer from the shaft. The light kit can now be removed. Use the included plastic plug to cover the hole in the middle of the switch housing. Install the switch housing onto the fan. Then clip on the pull chain and fob. Power can now be restored at the breaker. The installation is complete and the fan is now ready to operate. The pull chains provide an easy way to control your fan speeds and light. Use the fan chain to change the fan speed. Each pull of the chain cycles through the fan's five different speed settings. High speed, medium high speed, medium speed, low speed, and off. Use the light chain to toggle the light on or off. Use the reverse switch to change the direction of the blade rotation. For warm weather, the fan will spin counterclockwise and push air downward to create a cooling effect. For cool weather, the fan will spin clockwise to cycle warm air off the ceiling. Note that the fan should be stopped before changing the direction of the blade rotation. Congratulations! You are now ready to use your brand new ceiling fan. Want more details or have any questions? Just call the customer service number in your owner's manual. Thank you for watching.